I one's just taking a moment to come and find us. Who is excited for today? We're going to be diving into the hidden energetic blocks to holding money. This is such a key piece of our money story. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to everyone on Facebook and Zoom on the replays. It's so exciting to be here together again today. Hi, Cleo, joined us in the Zoom room. Nate is here as well. We'd love to hear your celebrations, your insights, your reflections. Do pop them in the chat. Just getting everything set up so I can see you all, see all your comments. We're building on what we were diving into yesterday. So yesterday I was sharing with you around uh, about the energetic blocks that slow down sales. So you can start to see how these may have been manifesting in your life and in your business. And today we're going to discover what may have been creating the energetic leaks for you in your ability to hold money. So you can hold both more clients and more money. And in business, there is this duality because they're entwined because that's how money comes into the into the business. So if we want to help more people, serve more people, we must expand our wealth consciousness and up le level our energetic fre frequency so that we are in resonance with the impact that we desire to make. So this is a key one for being able to create big leaps fast in your revenue and business. So we're going to be doing some helixing together in the class as well. We'd love to hear how's your experience been with the helixing? How are you feeling? Can you feel your frequency rising? We're going to be increasing your capacity to hold more money. So let me know in the comments how you've been feeling with your experience this week. Welcome, Debbie. Welcome, Elena. Welcome, welcome. So let me know in the chat or in the comments. Have you been surprised by what you found that is hidden? Are you feeling amazing as we've been doing these activations? I know some of you have been taking massive action off the back of the activation. So you're in the right frequency as you're taking action. We'd love to hear how that's going for you. How have these sessions been helping you? Are they are you finding them valuable? Let me hear all the things in the comments. Let's have a conversation around this. Welcome everybody. And thank you to everyone who has been sharing and tagging us in your shares. Your name is going to go into our draw. You are invited to take screenshots and boomerangs of our masterclass and share those on Instagram, Facebook, and, and LinkedIn and all the things. You'll inspire other people to, to come and join us. And of course, when you when you see you've shared, say thank you or pop your name into the draw to, to win a win a one-to-one -one with me as well. So excited to do this. And then I'll take a moment at the end. I'd love to invite those of you who want to continue together. I have got a very special invitation for you at the end of this uh, today's masterclass. So I'll share how you can do that at the end of our time together today. So keep those comments and reflections coming in. Any sessions are helping a lot. Awesome. Life stuff happens around, around, doesn't it? So we want to be able to create that, raise that frequency so you can have that emotional resilience as you're dealing with some of the challenging stuff that life can throw you. Alrighty, so I'm going to invite you to take a moment just to Come fully present. Give yourself a nice couple of letting go breaths. Feel your shoulders drop down as you breathe out. Land in your body. And consider what is your intention for being here? Why did you register for the Limitless Wealth Masterclass? How is this contributing to you for your life? And as you consider your intentions for the next 30 days, the money that you're calling in over the next 30 days, what emotions are you 
feeling in your body. On a scale of one to 10, how aligned are you to your intention? Welcome, Lisa. So it's my intention that you have miraculous results and create abundance in multiple areas of your life simultaneously. And expanding our wealth consciousness is key to being able to allow our businesses to make more sales. More sales means more money. More money means we need to be able to hold more so we can grow beyond the current revenue level of our business. And as business owners, we all know, don't we, that there is always a new level of learning and expansion. We don't know what we can't yet see or how easy it could get. And that's where I come in. And this week I have given you your Limitless Guide, Limitless Wealth Guide, which outlined the six blocks and our Helix methodology for uncovering the hidden blocks. And on each of our sessions, I've guided you through some very specific things that for us to start to unlock what is hidden. We're getting a taster of Helixing this week. If you want your workbook, so um, for those of you on Facebook, I've pinned the workbook in above the video, so you should be able to get that straight away. And then if you're in the Zoom room with me, now where are we? Oh, I'm glad they're keeping me going. Thank you for all your comments. So exciting to see them all. Ah, uh, the sessions are available and energy fixing is lasting. Yes, so excited to hear that. I'm so happy and grateful to be here. Oh, I'm so happy you are here as well. This is fantastic. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using the slides so you can refer to what um, what I'm sharing. You'll be able to see on the screen. So let's start to to dive into this. So let's just think about holding money. Do you have a savings plan? Do you feel safe as you see the overflow coming in and having more than you need at the end of the month? Or does the nervous system start to give you some thoughts around what if it all goes away? It's gonna vanish, never gonna be able to do it again. What are the stories that you might be telling yourself? Or does it feel like money is just falling through a leaky bucket as soon as it comes in, it's going out again. It's like, when am I going to get ahead? Where are these hidden energy reversals that are slowing down the timeline of your success? And of course, as businesses grow, cash flow, cash flow can fluctuate. And so being able to hold money and being having the identity of being an excellent steward of money is key for us being able to create and to grow from a place of expansion as opposed to contraction and without self-judgment because that can take us down a whole nother energetic rabbit hole and the millionaires that I work with all have experience of fluctuations in growth and profit and cash flow and key is developing the emotional and energetic resilience to being able to hold the frequencies whilst navigating all the things the market turns the software issues the team issues the team members leaving and all the things that happen in business. Alrighty, so that I can get a bit of a sense check where everybody is. Happy 4th of July. Yes, happy 4th of July, Betty. Happy 4th of July to all our American friends and anyone who is celebrating it. Alrighty, so just taking a moment to consider, are you in a money saw right now? So what I mean is money is coming in and it's growing exponentially. Are you like, where is the money? Do you love money? Let me know in the comments what's coming through for you. And I'm going to guide you through the six blocks that I've shared with you on Tuesday that we'll be building on each day this week. So yesterday we dived into how they uh, show up in sales and today we're going to dive into how they show up in um, holding money, looking at it through this lens. So first one we have, you'll remember, is the resonance rifts. This is where we've got an inner conflict between the different layers of our consciousness, our higher self, our subconscious mind, and our conscious mind. 
and how this shows up in holding money. So this is where our soul is desiring to go for the bigger impact and our conscious mind and our subconscious mind is thinking the vision is quite big enough. Thank you very much. And that's triggered, of course, by the other blocks. And we aren't listening to what our higher self is guiding to us to, to do. And our relationship with wealth, it, it's multidimensional on all levels of our consciousness, including how we feel about ourselves and how we feel about money. So, of course, our soul knows that we're worthy. We are divine multidimensional beings. And it's our conscious mind and our subconscious that pick up the programming that somehow we're not and creating that resonance rift. So we all have these desires and urges to keep growing to that next level. This is the whisper of your soul calling you, this urge to keep going, creating, making more money, to grow to that next financial revenue, to keep learning, to keep training, evolving and improving. I desire that too. And for the coaches here, your clients desire, desire that too as well. So this is your soul's desire. You are honoring your soul's desire to have more to have more resources, to be able to invest into the things that you're meant to be doing on this planet. You're meant to have more resources. And when all levels of consciousness are aligned and the deep inner healing work of the nervous system, the energetic buffering and the future identity are embodied, you can receive more and you'll have that alignment with the different layers of your consciousness. You're able to relax and you're able to hold more money. Make sense? Let me know which one is jumping out at you for you thinking, I think that one is the big one for me at the moment. So then we have the somatic default set points. So we all have these physiological, psychological and energetic default set points across all aspects of ourselves. Our brains and bodies get addicted to the default set points and all those emotions that we feel. That's why in the Helix Method, we teach our daily manifesting rituals so that our clients can embody new set points to be able to live in a place of certainty and faith that it's working, it's happening. And I have some very specific things that I focus on for this that I teach in the in the Helix Method Mastery. And the key is to being able to hold more money is, is healing our early childhood relationships. This is where our set points typically were created. And to be able to hold money is how we expand our wealth. We need to feel safe, worthy, deserving of having it all. We need to feel that sense of, to be able to say, I am wealthy. I am a wealthy, I'm a wealthy man. I'm a wealthy woman. To have that embodied, to have that as the set point. So we need to heal the past traumas that create these default set points, these default patterns in our nervous system and the energy reversals in our Wi-Fi. That's why the deep inner healing work is so important. And our worthiness set point is directly related to how much money we will allow ourselves to hold. This is your glass ceiling to holding money, your worthiness. How worthy you feel. And you know that this is at play. Spoiler alert. Guarantee this one's at play if you're struggling to hold on to money. Or we can have a misalignment around holding. So instead of holding on to the money, we're holding on to weight, we're holding on to debt, we're holding on to overspending or relationships rather than actually holding on to money. Does that make sense? So six and seven figure business owners can be really good at making money and really not very good at holding on to it. So you will know that this is at play if you're recognizing the money's all coming in and then there's just not quite enough left at the end of each month it's coming in as fast as it's going out as fast as it's coming in this is our invitation to go hmm this is interesting i'm noticing in this let's look at the energetics of what's going on here or it can show up as you can have where well, we start to trade with the universe it's like oh i can have money but i can't have love all the money's come in but you're just not feeling that fulfillment because you're not loving yourself that's that worthiness set point's been triggered. But then we can go down that loop of keeping busy, working harder, harder and harder. So we feel more purposeful. And we feel that we're worthy of receiving this money because we're working really hard. Or perhaps it can show up for you to see if this one resonates of only feeling worthy of doing or achieving. And so keep creating situations so that you can keep doing, so you're always doing always busy, 
that element of feeling valued and needed. That is a misaligned sense of purpose. And so we can start to uncover what this might look like as we consider the current identity that we're holding. Identity is so key. And we have a number of different self-concepts around holding money. So to hold more money, we have to have the identity of being an excellent steward of money and our relationship with money and our identity as a CEO and managing money. These are the big ones that show up, of course, at every stage of business. There's many facets to it. So if we go along the journey, we start with those, those aspects around your um, identity, around money and worthiness in relation to, to, to creating scenarios so that you get to work hard. So have you ever heard yourself say to somebody or think the thought something like, and let me know which ones resonate. If you're like, ah, you're in my head. This, these are the ones I'm thinking. I'm bad with money. I'm not worthy enough. I can't have love and money. I don't know how to handle a lot of money. I'm irresponsible with money. I'm new in business, so I'm trading services swapping services this is where they're not of equal value and that is a real employee mindset rather than an entrepreneur mindset so it's based on a time time swap rather than value swap you might have heard yourself say something like i have to work hard to be worthy of receiving this money i have to earn my success if it's easy i don't deserve it or feeling very purposeful because there's a lot of problems to solve. So you're running around, firefighting all the time, solving all these problems. Busy, busy, busy. Or feeling worthy because you're working really hard. It could show up as the sense that the other shoe's going to drop. So things are going well and you're like, when's it going to go bad? It's not safe to have it all. Or it can feel like money's over there, so money's out of reach. Somehow it's not available for you. Success isn't available for you. And somehow you can't be a successful business owner and a good parent. Let me know in the comments what's resonating. Anyone feel guilty about having more money or more or shame about having more money or embarrassed? Do you hide it? In that, what I mean by that is just hope people don't find out. So that's all blocking that next layer of success because we're fearing burnout ultimately because we're going to have to work so hard to get to, to where we are. We're feeling like we're having to sacrifice everything to have the success we desire. And it can feel sometimes like we're cheating <laughs> if it gets easier, if it's too easy. Anyone ever found that they have felt like they're cheating because it's easy? So the helix is working. Your income is growing. You've already done the work. You've got your passive incomes coming in. You keep getting paid. That can feel like it's you're cheating with passive income because you're not having to work anymore for it. The money's, money's coming in. I often hear from people saying that they, they fear letting go the current version of themselves. That stops. That's actually what is stopping them going all in. We want to take ourselves with us. And actually, what we need to do is to thank ourselves for getting us to this point and then to create our future self. And the subconscious is going to want to keep you in the same place. Your body's going to have a withdrawal. Want to start to feel those old rumbling levels of hidden shame. And so you find yourself not, not doing the things that work. Your frequency just starts to slip back to that old default set point. So you have to start to feel like you've got to make more effort to get the results rather than allowing your energetic frequency to do the heavy lifting for you. This can create a real roller coaster effect, which means then you can't hold on to money because money's coming in and going out in cycles. So that's where we get those in income plateaus. 
it can show up as not paying yourself in business. So you keep all the money in your business account because you don't feel worthy of receiving it. It can show up as investing 30K in a, in a business coach, but not in your personal development or in developing your skills. There's so many different subtle nuances the way it can show up. It can show up as getting sick after an up level. Who here has recognized that they've sometimes had bouts of getting unwell after an up level or drama happening with your children so you get completely distracted? And if you're working all the time, that's going to drain your energy and then that's going to have an impact on your on your ability to, to manifest. We need to create those spaces where we're having joy, fun, raising our vibration that way as well, claiming more of life, creating that space for the universe to, to bring the synchronicities in. And when you come into the Helix Method, there's a tool that I share with you in the Helix Method that I show you how to find out where you're vibrating at and where your sweet spot is to be able to manifest more quickly. And I do see this all the time with my clients as we raise their vibration through our methodologies. We get to that sweet spot, then their manifesting speeds up. Their vibrational attraction point is raised. They start to attract greater opportunities. Money starts to come in more, often in surprising ways. And family members too as well benefit. They start to manifest things faster too as well. But this is magic, magical stuff. Really, really exciting stuff. So if you're thinking, okay, so how have I got all these feelings? What's been going on? So our experiences in this, this lifetime, past lives, what we're picking up from the collective, the media, society, cultural programming, all of this is impacting our consciousness, and our levels of worthiness. So things like where we may have made some decisions about our levels of worthiness. So recognizing, so what were your parents like? Were your parents high achievers and they only praised high grades? So you had to earn love and self-worth through high grades. Or did you grow up in a, a family where there wasn't enough money? And so you started working quite young. How old was everyone when you started working? I, I know I was 15 when I got my first job. What was the name of the shop I worked in? I can't remember. It sold really nice jewellery. <laughs> it was off Kent High Street in London. It'll come to me. In this life or past life, maybe you have this sense that you did something wrong or you're a bad person. And so there's this element of holding shame around it and hoping that people aren't going to find out who you truly are, even though you're like, logically, it doesn't make any sense. Did you have too strict parents? Who here has a family where working hard is a badge of honour? big badge of success that's it's huge in my family i hear my mother say it all the time they will she will praise someone if they've worked really really hard to get it if they haven't worked hard in her eyes to get it then the descriptions are less favorable <laughs> really observe this isn't that interesting that programming coming down Any imprinting where it was wrong to have more. Don't be greedy, just have one. If you think of the film Oliver, when Oliver says, please, sir, can I have some more? They're like, more? Or oh, I should be hung. And children are watching this going, so what's our little subconscious is making of that? Is it safe to desire more? So again, thinking about your home environment, was it safe to, could you relax at home? Could you, could you relax at school? Can you relax now? Or do you find yourself getting fidgety? We do sort of two minutes of relaxing and then up because you've got to go and do the dishwasher or do something else. And then of course we can have these traumas where along the life, experiences we may have witnessed or had the experience ourselves where 
there's a loss of financial security, whether that's come down to homelessness, bankruptcy, divorce, losing a business, all of this can have a big impact on our sense of worthiness and safety. And then hearing other people saying judgmental things about those scenarios, again, having a massive experience, massive, massive impact on our consciousness. I'm thinking about as well as we're as we're just opening this up so you're contemplating how what might be hidden and how it might be impacting your current business any dysfunctional dynamics within the family where you either were the golden child or scapegoated We need to heal these hidden blocks so that your worthiness is aligned. Your higher self, of course, knows you're worthy. But so you can have that inner peace. You can feel worthy whether there's money coming in or no money coming in. You can have that inner peace. You always and that faith and trust that you know there's always more money coming and that you can hold the money. And, I and when you have embodied the identity of being an excellent steward of money, you feel worthy and deserving of, of holding more money. And it is just effortless. So our identity is absolutely key in relation to this. And it's all tied in, of course, with our nervous system. And something to bear in mind, when our nervous system is triggered, we're going to revert back to our default set points in our consciousness to survive. That's what our brains and our bodies are, are driven to do, is to disconnect yourself from that path that you're on. You go back into survival. So if you're thinking about what is your default set point, what is, well, what's your behavior when you've gone back into your, your stress mode? What addictive pattern do you have? Do you retreat? Do you withdraw from loved ones? Do you start drinking more? Do you go to the gym more? What are your shopping habits? And anywhere that we may be feeling unable to rest or relax because we're always on the go, that that is a real one to pay attention to because it means you can never be receiving because you're always in the doing. And whatever our backgrounds, we're all going to have, of course, different ancestral and transgenerational patterns. There's going to be different societal imprints impacting our nervous system and our ability to hold money. If we live with white privilege, we were going to have certain transgenerational programming. If we're a, a woman, we hold the patriarchal transgenerational imprint of women where we didn't used to inherit wealth because we weren't trusted with it, the men were. There was a lot of wealth in my ancestry. Didn't come down my line, went down the male line. I've got some very wealthy cousins somewhere. The firstborn male got it. And so thinking about all those ancestors, all that, that different societal programming that then came through with that, we hold that all in ourselves. If we are a, a black person, a person with color, we're gonna have certain transgenerational and societal imprints. That's gonna impact our nervous system where land's been taken away, the trauma of slavery. So this fear of losing something may come from an ancestral experience or of course, you know, current lifetime experience as well. So we are all gonna have different triggers, different experiences. What we do all share is a, is a lack of safety. Some may feel it more than others, of course. And so inviting you to contemplate where is your lack of safety? You want to look at the root of that and how it's disconnected you. And this disconnection, just to speak to this, because you may recognize this within yourselves or have seen it for someone else, 
It can show up when you're trying to relax or play with your children, but you actually feel like you're just doing the action, like you're not really there. You're doing playing rather than enjoying playing. Does that make sense? It's just your body in a stress state. So when we heal our nervous system, then we can feel safe to hold more money and we don't have those resistant and reversed energies being created as we've created our future self-identity, our future consciousness. And as we heal our relationship with money, we create a secure attachment to being able to hold more money and to have money. And we'll dive into this more tomorrow when we talk about life after the after the, break, the breakthrough. Is this making sense? Let me know. Give me a yes. Let me know what is what's landing, which ones are, are jumping out at you. Then we've got the energetic buffering. So this is where we may be creating rockiness in our field. Energy reversals to holding money. They, they show up in your meridians, such as in your spleen, when you're working too hard, or you're so busy, or too tired. Your spleen is going to be depleted. And all of that is affecting your, the frequency that you're sending out into the universe. And you're holding a heart wall to receiving more of what you need. That's going to restrict your, your receiving. So they're on this loop of just having enough to cover the bills, even if you make a lot of money. And the thing is, what is not healed grows as your business grows, just gets bigger. And that can show up at any stage of business from merging to seven figures. Does that make sense? So this is really important to, to deal with this so we can grow our businesses. We want to grow the right things in our businesses, not grow the problems of the things that are causing us stress. And then we have the strategic dissonance. And this is when we're applying a strategy that's misaligned for our, our business. And that can include things like including too much in a program so that you then can't invite people to continue working with you. So then you have to work harder and harder and harder to find more potential clients rather than being able to offer more clients that oh, they already love working with you and they trust you to invite them to come into the next step, the next natural step. It can show up as having chaotic systems or not systems, lack of streaming in the business model. So that then creates more work. So you get to, you get to keep on working and get to feel like really energized and purposeful because you're always working. But actually, you're out of alignment with your strategies and out of alignment with your, your higher self because you've created this contraction within the business that keeps you working harder. So I invite you to consider as you're thinking about this and thinking about the strategy, strategies in your business, is what does success like to you, look like to you? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing only on the, the money measure? Are you focusing on how many new members are coming into your community? Are you focusing on building relationships with people for the long term? About service delivery. Is it delivering a world-class service? How can we all be in that space of continuous improvement? Already, so just invite you just to take a moment to consider everything that I've shared and to think about okay, on a scale of one to ten, how much is this blocking your next layer of success in life and business? And which ones were jumping out at you? Let me know in the comments. And just to bring this to life, just so you can see how this can show up at any stage of the any stage of the game. Something I've been working on for myself in relation to being an excellent steward of money so that I can hold more money as our business grows and our profits grow. And of course, as our profits grow, I can then invest more into assets for the business to create more money without me working. And I love doing philanthropic stuff. So we already give money to Kiva. That's a collaborative platform. I'm sure you know it where they are lending money to entrepreneurs around the world who wouldn't necessarily have access to finance. I love doing that. I want to do more of that kind of stuff. And as my, I'm expanding my capacity to receive more and I'm doing my inner work and taking what I teach within the Helix Method and working on my own stewardship of money and the self-concepts that I have around profits, 
I became aware of something that I'd created that meant I got to work harder again. I gave myself more work to do. So I'd found myself, I'd freed up my diary. I'd created more spaciousness in my diary and then I went and filled it up again without receiving more money. Remember, our subconscious has a 100% success rate. So what had happened was these worthiness and deservingness set points had kicked in, showing me that I, you know, I contracted back and then I needed to expand them again to, to embody it. So I had this amazing uh, spiritual business coaching program that required a lot of my time because I was doing copywriting coaching in it. And I realized what I was doing was actually a done with you hybrid, done for you, as I could see so clearly how my clients were needing to tweak what they were saying to really develop their skills in, in messaging. And I'm spending hours and hours on helping them with, with this. I was working really hard. I completely underpriced it. It should have been doubled for the level of support that I was giving. So it should have been at least 30K for what I was offering. And what happened was I realized that I stopped selling into that program. I could feel the resistance kicking in, that strategic dissonance kicking in. And I came into re the resonance with the idea that I could actually help more people and honor my time and my skill set and the 20 years experience I have of developing multi-million pound services was if I was to stop offering that service and to actually only make copywriting coaching available to my private clients if they wanted it. So I shifted. The moment I realized what had happened, I wrapped up that program and I've created the capacity just to, to work with that, you know, a couple of hand-selected one-to-one clients with you know, with, within the revenue model now that is, is profitable and it honors my time and expertise. And I found all sorts of beliefs that had come in through the experiences I've had over the years in businesses, energy reversals and the default pattern that my nervous system was putting me back to, to working hard, that default pattern of deservingness. I got to work really hard for this money again. So the strategy started off being a resonance it became out of resonance because my default set point is kicking in. That makes sense. I just shared that so you can see a you know fairly real time example of how we truly all need to be investing time and effort into our energy and our consciousness, as this is how we create our reality. And those blind spots can be sneaky because we'll tell ourselves a really good story as to why we're doing the thing that we're doing. Does that resonate? I would love to know if that resonates for anyone. Anyone caught themselves and gone, ah, I think that's what I've done over here. We're going to start to shift some energy around this. So let's do some helixing around this. So what we're going to do is we are going to activate and create a clear pathway between our different levels of consciousness, our higher self, our conscious mind, our subconscious mind. And we're going to use muscle testing or energy kinesiology to find out where the hidden blocks are. So we're going to use the sway technique. We'll all be familiar with that now. And then once we know what's going on, we're going to release it. And then we're going to start to imprint what is going to support you in creating the consciousness of your future self. This is just a teeny tiny bit of what I teach in my program. So I'm so excited to, you're getting to have a taste of it this week. We do, of course, go much deeper into our into this into our program. So give me a yes if you are ready. Give me a yes in the comments. Got some yeses coming in. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Let's do it then. Sounds like we are ready. Okay, so I'm going to invite you. Let's just move that over there. To close your eyes, we'll do our higher self invocation. Increase an intention of connection through your breath. And we're going to increase your life force energy through your breath by breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for eight. So I'm just going to invite you to do that at your own pace three times. As you're doing that, just to bring your awareness to your soul star chakra, it's about 18 inches above your head. Think of this as your gateway to your Kashuk record. Kashuk record imprints every thought, emotion, experience into your energy bodies, into your Kashuk record. We're imprinting into your Kashuk record at this very moment in time, which is why this work is so powerful.
And then when you're ready, inviting you to affirm to yourself, you can say this out loud or silently, speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I intend that in the name of divine truth, love and light, let all information come from my higher self and be in alignment with my divine truth, my highest good and the highest good of all. I am creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self so that they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And from this space, I'm going to invite you now to start to stand up. If you can stand up, and we're going to muscle test the following phrases that I'll share with you in a moment. Remembering to keep your knees soft as you're standing up, feet hip width apart, relax your knees, close your eyes, and your energy body is going to respond typically with a forward sway as a yes, and a backward sway as a no. I'm going to invite you to listen to the somatic response that your body gives you as you do this. So just notice if there's any pressure changes, if your stomach starts rumbling, pay attention to how your subconscious is speaking to you. Alrighty, so I want you to muscle test these ones and observe the somatic response. And the first one is, we've got five here. I want to hold more money. I want to have more money. I am worthy of having whatever the amount of savings is that you desire to have. I am worthy of having 100K savings, 50K savings, a million savings, whatever it is. I feel worthy working hard. Another one here would be, I feel worthy relaxing. I feel shame about my savings. I want you to muscle test on those now and then just tell me in the comments if you get it, which ones that you get a yes to. Uh, thanks, Lisa. Let's say yes, the Helix Method rocks. Does it does. What have we got coming in? Hi, Jill. Hi, Chris. Some of you have joined us. Welcome. So, where have you got yeses? Where have you got noes? And this is just a, a taster. Of course, we go so much deeper when I'm working with you in our in our programs so that we can get to those, go to three to five layers deep. We always want to go three to five layers deep. Otherwise, you're going to miss the key. You're going to miss your blind spots. <laughs> All righty, so we've uncovered some stuff. Right, so let's move into this section where we're going to be releasing this. So remember, we... We say the phrase out loud once and then twice internally. That's so that we're holding that frequency and that energy, that intention. You're going to bring your heart into coherence by breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then remember, the subconscious typically doesn't hear don't, but that's why we say it's a sentence that doesn't make grammatical sense. So if you've got a no to wanting to hold more money, then you're going to say, I'm ready to release wanting to hold more money. No, because that's what your body did. They said no. So I'm going to release that. And as you're going to release that, you're going to hold CB17. So you can see on the screen, that point is that point in between your chest, in between your nipples. Be a little bit tender there. Just hold that area as we're doing this. All right, so I'm going to guide you through the first one and then create some space for you to do another couple. And you can circle back later to do a few more later. Already, just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then saying out loud and observing your body as you do this, I'm ready to release, wanting to hold more money, no. I release and delete this, 
with all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Notice what's happening in your body. And then I'm going to invite you to say it silently. Carry on breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I'm ready to release. Wanting to hold more money now. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all that no longer serves. One more time. I'm ready to release. Wanting to hold more money now. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and level of consciousness. Just give me a nice deep breath in and out. Beautiful. Notice how this feels in your body. If there's any tingling sensations going on, just make a note of them. Observe what you observe. And then I'm going to invite you just to take a, you to have two minutes Two to three minutes now, so you can just clear and release two more. And then we'll move on to the activation part. Let me know in the comments when you're, you've done your two. Okay, yes, realizing gripping in your muscles, gripping muscles in your body. This is great awareness. As you recognize that, that is so powerful. And what you can do is you can link that in with the phrase that you're releasing. So say you're releasing wanting to hold money. You would say, I'm ready to release this gripping muscles in my body. Releasing wanting to hold money now. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. And what you're doing there is you're connecting the sensation in your body with the 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 belief, the emotion, the the imprint. The subconscious will hear it. Beautiful. We'll just take uh, one more minute to give people a chance just to complete the one that they were working on. Let me know in the Facebook room if you have done yours as well. You can start to feel the shifts and then you'll start to see the difference in your reality. We need to go deep with this. We really do. I'm clearing away with powerful messages. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. So let's move on. We're going to be creating the aligned coherence now. So for this one, what I'm going to invite you to do is we're going to do one minute of inner rewiring for each of these. So it's large sums of money come to me easily and effortlessly. I want you to repeat that in your head over and over internally. Then I'll give you a heads up when we've done a minute. Then you're going to be repeating, I receive and hold more money. I receive and hold more money. I receive and hold more money. And you do that for a minute. And then you're going to move on to, I love and accept myself for being me. We're going to do that for a minute. 
Then I'm going to move on to, I am worthy of having more savings. We'll do that one for a minute. And then I'm in a money saw. And I'll give, I'll be the timekeeper. So you don't have to worry about that. Give your heads up when we've done those for a minute each. And then we're going to do two minutes. This is where you're going to say it out loud. Really notice how your body's feeling in response to these words that you're saying. So you're going to say, I'm the kind of person who has the amount of 100K in 30 days or whatever the amount is for you. I feel so motivated, joyful and in flow. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Okay. Yes, that's correct, Alexandra. You don't need to clear that one. You have a yes and wanting to hold more money than you do not be the theory. Alrighty, everyone ready? Let's go. <laughs> so just take a moment just to breathe in for four. Breathe out for four. Start to fill up your heart with more and more love. Your heart chakra is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter bigger and brighter and then from this place start to think large sums of money come to me easily and effortlessly large sums of money come to me easily and effortlessly and we're going to do that for one minute together Moving on to the second one. I receive and hold more money. I receive and hold more money. Moving on to the next one. I love and accept myself for being me. I love and accept myself for being me. Moving on to the next one. I am worthy of having more savings. I am worthy of having more savings.
Moving on to the next one. I am in a money sore. I am in a money sore. Money is just pouring to you. I am in a money sore. Feeling those vibes rising. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to invite you now to say for two minutes out loud, I'm the kind of person who has, and then whatever the income amount you want in the next 30 day, days in. I'm the kind of person who has 100K in 30 days, whatever it is. I feel so motivated, joyful, and in flow. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And as you say it out loud, really allow yourself to notice how your body is responding to those words. So we're going to do that for two minutes together. Notice how this is all feeling in your body. And from this place, inviting you to contemplate, how can it be easy? How can it be easy? Just send that question up to your higher self. How can it be easy? Just staying with this energy. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Notice what ideas come to you in this now moment. Know that some further ideas will come to you later today. Just listen to that soft whisper of your soul. Someone's name pops into your head. Reach out, have a conversation with them. See why you've been guided to speak to them. This is where we get to take action. When we're in the energy of action, the universe will mirror us. Being the energy of action, bringing things to us, the synchronicities. 
So taking one new idea, implementing it today. As you're in this energy, thinking about where can you add more value? And you reach out to five people today, you invite them to work with you. Perhaps it's people you haven't spoken to for a while. You need to follow up with. They're waiting for you to follow up with them. They've got busy. How is everybody feeling? Feeling good? Feeling lighter? Easier? Clearer? Oh, this is so exciting! Got some serious energy moving there, burning in your throat. Remember to... Drink plenty of water and just set, set the intention that any burning in the throat or anywhere there's any stickiness or energetic imprints moving through, that they move through with ease and grace. And that you calibrate this new frequency with ease. Feeling wiser later. I love it. I love it. No, we've been shifting a lot of energy today. So your invitation is to reflect on how these blocks have been blocking your next level of success and growth in your revenue. Circle back if there's any more that you need to clear and to heal before we come back tomorrow. Book in your energetic alignment audit call with me if you haven't done so already. This is a high value call where we will be giving you some steps that you can take that are going to make a massive difference in terms of making this masterclass relevant for you so that you can have the result you came here to get and inviting you to think about what is your aligned action that you can take as a step that's going to make you take you move you forward all righty and then pop your takeaway in the in the chat and we're going to do a a giveaway. We've got a whopping prize for you today. So pop your takeaway in the in the chat. I can see some takeaways here. In the Facebook group. Ready. It's the shifts happening. Take away your hiding lots of shame. See what we've got. That's fantastic to hear. Take place to go deeper, always layers below the layers. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. All righty. Here we go. Yeah. All righty. I've seen who's the winner. This is very exciting. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I am gonna reveal the winner. Thank you for sharing your takeaways. Okay, so the prize is a $1,000 gift voucher off a group coaching program to be used within 60 days. Are you ready to see who the winner of this is? We've never given this gift away before, so I'm very excited to share this. Dun, 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 dun. I'm doing drum rolls with my fingertips here. <laughs> the winner is 
Elena Manez. Elena, congratulations. I am so excited for you. I will circle back and see what you would like to do because I know we'll need to have a conversation about this gift. Um, but a huge congratulations. This is absolutely phenomenal. I am so excited for you. And thank you to everybody who has been sharing their takeaways. We will be back with more takeaways tomorrow uh, as well. Thank you for all your love and contributions to everybody's thoughts. All the prize winners already. Thank you so much, everyone. These last four days have been just incredible. You really have made it very, very special. I've really enjoyed every moment of getting to serve and to teach you and to allow you to start to see what is possible. You've had breakthroughs, energetic shifts, complete clarity on the things that were stuck before that were hidden. And if you are excited about the momentum that you've created and if you feel really passionate about having an even bigger result for you and for your clients, then I would love to invite you to stay with me now and to continue forward on this journey because I'm going to invite you into my community. I'm going to invite you to step into my inner circle because I want to tell you about our next step that you can take today if you're ready to take this little result that you've had, that you've got for yourself, to be able to elevate it, duplicate it, multiply it to the to the moon and back. Um, and a huge congratulations for those of you who have been showing up for yourself for because this will have a massive impact on not only on you personally, but also on your professional practice. And just a huge congratulations for your breakthroughs. So I am excited to share with you your invitation to Helix Method Mastery. So we're, what we've been doing this week, you've been learning how to upgrade your net worth by creating safety in your nervous system, exactly how to master wealth energetics so you can hit your financial revenue goals with complete confidence, how these six biggest energetic blocks have been impacting your sales, your cash flow, your impact for marketing and holding money. And you've got clarity on what has been in the way. And you've experienced how by using our techniques, you can activate that peak flow state that is, is just key for your success. And thank you for being part of our incredible community. And it's just been a joy to activate that higher frequency so you can become an energetic match to, to what you desire. And you've experienced how by we create our reality by and we can elevate our reality by balancing deep inner healing work with impactful manifesting rituals is what we do within the Helix Method. So you now know what to do for your breakthrough. You can take take action of just this transformational training that I've given you for, for free. But if you do want to take it further, then I'm here for you and I'm ready to help you take that momentum that you've got over these last few days and to be able to transform transition this all into that completion of that full next level so you can be fully self-expressed not only in your personal life but professionally and your clients can who also have these desires can see these kind of results as well so I'm ready to help you get that result right here right now so stay with me over the next couple of days I'm going to continue answering your questions giving you feedback on all the blind spots that I'm seeing we're going to be sharing additional content for you to help you to get the result that you desire and if you are ready, then I am delighted to invite you to the Helix Method Mastery, which is our certification program. I'm going to take a few moments to share that with you. And the Helix Method certification it, program, it evolves as my clients who were having great results themselves asked me if I could teach them what I do. And I, at that time, had just had, this is a few years ago now, had an Akashic Record consultation where I was shown that the next evolution of my purpose was to teach and certify coaches in mastering energy psychology with my methods. And over the last few years now, I've trained and certified 25 practitioners and we're opening our doors now to you. And this is world-class energy psychology training for intuitive coaches who are looking for unparalleled results for their clients, where they will learn how to create deeper transformations with proven proprietary frameworks and results-driven energy coaching programs, which they have resale rights to. So they can deliver these programs to their clients and generate income within their practice within 60 days or less. So just take a moment to imagine the impact of offering these services to your clients, what that will do, what that impact will have for you and your business. Because you will start to have a reputation for 
results and that will give you a referral rich coaching practice and you'll enjoy more success and freedom and confidence as you see your clients have rapid results without having to spend months on the inner work before they see the change we do have an incredible program for you it's a business in a box so that you can take everything i'm giving you to offer the helix method to your clients providing you with additional revenue streams plus we have got incredible bonuses for you so what you have in your hands has the potential to create multi six figures for you repeatedly over your lifetime so i'm going to share my my screen with you for a moment so you can see see the invitation page let me see if i can uh, find it for you let's see if I'll press some buttons here so you can have a look where are we documents screens there we go there it is everybody see that now give me a thumbs up if you can if you can see that so this is our invitation page. So you'll see, just wanted to show you, if we scroll down, what you'll get when you step into Helix Method. Portal. Here we go. So within our transformational training portal, you'll gain the ability to transform limiting patterns and blockages rapidly for your clients instead of spending hours of time doing the inner work or working through resistance. You'll master foundational techniques, including how to use the techniques for yourself and how to read your client's energy with advanced energy kinesiology. And you'll be working with advanced energetic structures for healing and raising consciousness, healing with holograms and colors. You'll be able to show your clients how to say, bye to the subconscious blocks in their nervous system and to create exponential results and to be able to highlight and work somatically and energetically with your clients so that they master the energetics and reality creation and you'll have powerful frameworks for client issues that show up when they're in resistance or when they're in contraction because that will bubble up for them and training on how to work directly with your client's energy and shifting them out of contractions and into greater alignment in, in any area of life. And you'll have the license to use the three programs that you can just take and use in your business on the prosperity codes of the love codes, the wealth codes and, and the body. And our program has won awards and is accredited by the IPHM, which is the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine. So you can see here, and our clients who have taken the Helix Method into their businesses, they're having success and seeing their clients having rapid success and transformations. It's so exciting. It truly is. So this is for you. If you want to offer Helix Method in your business, you may be an established coach and trained in other modalities, or this may be the first modality that you're training in. I have got you covered and you will receive world-class training on energy psychology and reality creation, and you'll be able to access all of this straight away in our portal. Now we're going to have our live calls for our next intake starting in September and we'll be having three calls a month. Two will be focused on energy training and one will be focused on supporting you with your business. And we have a private community and I will be moving the community onto Telegram shortly. So this is where you'll be able to stay connected, find practice partners, collaborate, ask questions. I'm there with you every step of the way. And this year, we have some very exciting bonuses for you. You're going to receive as well live experiences of our three inner circle coaching programs. So we have the Love Codes, which will be running from October to December. We have the Wealth Portal, which will be running from January to April. And we have the Body, which will be running from May to June. And this is so that you can have your own transformation and have me model how to lead and facilitate the programs as well. And just taking two clients through each of these programs at our recommended retail rate will give you ROI back instantly. And of course, you can sell these programs for the rest of your life, and that will give you a lifetime of a return on your investment. Plus, so that you're energetically aligned with growing your business, we've got you covered with our Infinite Prosperity Business Digital Toolkit. You will receive access to our business digital program, which has got everything that you need, training, templates, that will support you in, in growing your business. 
and we'll provide a call mm. once a month to support you in implementing and answering your pressing questions in relation to this. So we're here for you. I'm super excited to welcome you to the Helix Method. And right now, there are two ways to save with our exclusive Limitless Wealth Masterclass Savings. So just to give you a heads up on those, these are available for the next few days. So right now, there's two ways that you can save. So you can pay in full for $12,000. And as a fast action between now and Saturday, the 6th of July, you can enjoy a private um, bonus one-to-one -one with me when you pay in full. Or you can choose the payment plan option, which is 12 payments of $1,250. US Or of course, you, we've got the option for you to pay in British pounds as well. So that is everything. Uh, comment Hel um, Helix link or send me a DM saying Helix link if you'd like the link and we'll pop it over to you. And of course, if you've got any questions, then book a call with me and we can get everything answered so you can make an aligned decision either way. And do book a call if you want to explore other ways that we can work together and I can share what that will look like as well because we've got many ways that we can we can work together. Alrighty, so that is the Helix Method page, which has got all the information on for you, so you can make an aligned decision either way. It's my highest honor to invite you to, to come and join us. Yes, Betty, so the, the US dollars is 12,000 pay in full saving. And the payment plan in US dollars is 1,250. And then for those of you wondering about the British pounds, if I speak to that as well, the British pounds pay in full saving is 10,000 pounds. And the British pounds payment plan option is 12 payments of 1,000 pounds. Do let me know if you've got any other questions and I'll uh, be able to answer them, answer them for you. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. All righty. That is it. I am so excited to see all the shifts that everybody's been having. Cannot wait to be back here with you tomorrow for life after the breakthrough. We're going to be diving in deep, building on what we've been talking about today. If you haven't yet completed our survey just before we hop off, we'd love to invite you to do that. That would be super, super helpful. So I'm going to just pop that link in the chat in here and we'll make sure we pop it in the Facebook group for you as well. And everyone who completes our survey, their name goes into our draw as well to win a one-to-one -one with me. Remember to book your call. Even if the Helix Method Mastery is not for you, book a call as there's many other ways that we can continue together. So just book a call. We'll give you huge value on the call and action steps you can fulfill your goals. And even if working together isn't a good fit right now, then book a call. I want to give you huge value so you can have clarity on how to break through. So get that call booked in if you haven't done so already. And I'm going to leave the room open for you so that you can scan the QR code. This QR code here that I'm showing on the screen We'll give you that link to be able to book an energetic alignment audit if you haven't had one already. And until tomorrow, I will see you all then. Any questions, please do pop them below the video or you can send them over to me in Messenger or email us at clientcare at louisahavers.com and we will get them answered for you. Sending you lots and lots of love. See you tomorrow.